Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic and I have a new Patron Elite perk to share with you. If you're interested in joining the Scrapcraftastic Patreon, the link will be in the description box below. So this is the December DIY printable. It is available in half letter size. This also works in an A5. It also comes in standard traveler's notebook size. So I'm gonna flip through. I've already punched, cut and punched this. Let me show you this. This is how it actually comes when you print. You print, if you print it double-sided, it will look something like this. And then you have all of your weeks. But I'm gonna flip through this and show you how it looks once it's put together. I also wanted to point out color differences. Originally when I printed this version, I had my uh, printer or my preferences set to save toner or ink. And look at the green here versus the green here. This one, I had turned that feature off. Um, the reds are slightly different. This is more yellow. Everything here is more yellow. This is more of the natural tone that it should be. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but um, I can really see a difference in person. I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera. Print preference settings make a big difference in the quality of the print and how the color will come out. It also matters. Uh, the paper makes a difference as well and the setting that you use for the paper. So I think I use presentation paper setting for this. Yes, I have to use presentation setting to get my printer to print borderless. It only prints borderless for that specific paper. So even though I'm not using presentation paper, I set it at that. Okay, that's enough printer talk. <laughs> but so this is what it looks like once you put it together. Um, you have the title page and these come in individual JPEGs uh, as individual spreads. So you don't have to use it in this order. So it comes set like this individual spreads, individual JPEGs, Sunday start, Monday start, and then a version with a uh, Sunday start monthly and the Monday start weekly. OK, so I think I've got everybody covered. This is the title page. You have a blank notes page, small monthly calendar, notes, your weekly, and then that repeats throughout the month so that you have this for the whole month. And then more blank note pages than the end title page. And you can print, I print this on, I think this is 24 pound paper. I usually print on 32 pound, but 24 pound was what I had close at hand. So I used that and it still came out really nice. I used my arc punch to punch this. You could round your corners or you could simply fold it in half. So, and use it as a half letter traveler's notebook. So, or just as a notebook, you could print this on cardstock, this page on cardstock for your cover and just use your regular paper for the inside. Same thing here, even though I printed this on regular paper, 24 pound paper, um, you could print the cover on cardstock. And this is how the traveler's notebook looks once it's put together. I have not stapled it though. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop this in to this planner. And this is kind of how I am keeping track of the DIY planners. So you can see examples of them. I do not have the first one in here yet, but I will add it. This is the Thanksgiving planning insert. And that is still available to Scrapcraftastic patron elites. And I think it's also available to plus. So that goes on there like that. And that is what it would look like in a disbound planner or notebook. Okay. 
So that's the half letter. Then this is the traveler's notebook size. So I'm gonna set that aside because of the glare. And then we're gonna keep going. Okay, so we have this version. Then as an added bonus to Patron Plus and Elite, I created this monthly calendar, full letter size calendar. So I know a lot of people don't use letter size planners or notebooks but you can always reduce it to whatever size you want and I want to show you the difference again look at the difference in the color I'm not sure if you can see it the green especially is quite different um, same same situation this one was to save on ink or toner toner or ink and then this one was without that feature I like this version better this is the actual colors that it was supposed to come out so like I said not everybody uses letter size but I decided to start with letter size because you can always reduce down to whatever size you want it may not fit perfectly in your size planner or traveler's notebook or a notebook or a journal but you can always tip it in glue it in you know how we do anyway <laughs> that is the monthly calendar bonus add-on for the diy planner for december and i went ahead and did these two versions just set them up so you could kind of see what it would look like um, you do have a little room up here to put the month December, but because this is darker and I didn't have anything with white that I wanted to use, I just put my December, uh, the month here. The dates and the December are from dates and holidays from the Happy Planner. This came out in 2017. So that's what I use for that. And for the days of the week, I use the full days of the week and then I cut to abbreviate and so that it will fit in the space. Those are from Piper Paper Company and they are on the clear paper. So I think all that works out great. It's all on the clear sticker paper. Okay, and I cut this down to fit in this planner, which is my B6 Stalogy. And it would go on the page a little something like this. Now I probably could have reduced it more i could actually just tip it in maybe here tip it in so that it will flip if i want it to be like this then i could do some type of fold with it so that it would open up this way but i'm okay with it being like this so i have that version for the stylogy and then i have this version i just used the red tombow 856 um and wrote in everything the days of the week the month dates in that color and i did round the corners on this one and this one will fit in my traveler's notebook let's just open up to a blank page again i could just tip this in like this i could mount this on a card stock and use it in one of my clear dashboards however I want to use it and I could make it even smaller and have it fit this direction but again I prefer to have it going this way so that's just showing that you can reduce the size you can decorate these and add them to your planner you can use the full size you can reduce this down to classic size or close to classic size now how do you know what to reduce it to what percentage do you use i found a website called momenvy.co with a chart a full chart of all the different sizes that you can reduce to i also had a version of this i'll have to locate it uh, I'll link to it below, but I thought this was an excellent list. I had forgot about my list, but anyway, um, this is from momenvy.co. I'll put it in the description box below so you can go check it out. It has all these different sizes 
tells you what the insert size is and it tells you what percentage from a letter size to print to. And it also it has the regular planner insert sizes. It also has traveler's notebook landscape sizes. So you can choose which percentage you want to use. So with this list, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find a size that works for you if you do not want to use the letter size. That's everything for the DIY planner for December. Again, this is available to Scrapcraftastic Patron Elite. The monthly calendar is available to Elite and Plus. They are available right now, so you can go over and download your files. And also, you're not limited to using these specifically as planners. You could use this in a junk journal. You can use it in your crafting projects. I actually use pieces of it. Um, I had some misprint pages, but they still were usable. So I'm using them on this little project that I'm working on. Uh, it will be a pocket. This will flip up. And this was single sided paper and I needed something to go on the other side. So I used a piece of the misprint and it has a line. So there's room for journaling here. This part down here will be a pocket. I haven't glued it yet, but I also use a small piece of it. Well, I did glue this part to make this pocket here. So there's a pocket here and there will be a pocket there once it's complete. So you don't have to just use it for planning or a notebook or journal or anything like that. You can use it for your craft projects too. You could even reduce the pages down and turn them into journaling cards because they don't have to be printed double sided like this. You can do any number of things. So and I know a lot of people are working on Christmas projects, so that's just an idea. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in these other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.